So let me share with you everything you should know about French Bulldogs. So while feeding a puppy for the first time, start by giving them warm water mixed with dog food. Like babies, we have to feed them pureed meals rather than solid food. Make sure the water you combined was not too hot for them and that it was mineral water to prevent them from getting sick. Also, adding water to the food makes it easier for dogs to digest and allows them to absorb the nutrients from their meal. Do it for your adult dogs as well, especially if they are smaller breeds, as they have smaller teeth and are less likely to crush their food thoroughly. The second is to maintain their hygiene. Regardless of the breed of your dog, you must keep them routinely cleaned. My French Bulldog frequently scratches his body, so in this instance, it wounded his face. Thankfully, I always have wound spray on ready, and it quickly dries out the wound in just a few days. Please note that I had to soak cotton buds in the wound spray to prevent it from coming into direct contact with my dog's eyes and mouth. Never overlook also giving your pet to wipe it with clean and soft wet wipes in the morning and before bed to protect them from bacteria and tear stains. After treating the area and applying it with wind spray, always put a collar around their neck to prevent them from scratching it and licking their paws, especially if the wound spray is not lick safe for your dogs. The third is face grooming your Frenchie on a regular basis. Since Frenchie's eyes bulge further forward in the skull, this frequently inhibits the growth of their tear ducts and leads to irritation and tear stains, especially if your dog is a white collared breed like mine. Their tear stains are more obvious. I actually purchased a tear stain drop remover product from the pet store. However, this wasn't able to get my French Bulldog stains removed. After doing some research and watching a number of videos online, I discovered that coconut oil is more effective than an actual tear stain drop. You may always purchase coconut oil that is organic from any store. Fourth is, French Bulldogs and other breeds of Bulldogs are prone to heat stroke. Heat stroke can happen to any Bulldog, even French Bulldogs. These dogs aren't particularly athletic. They can easily faint in hot weather, so I keep my French away from heat and constantly keep a fan or air conditioning running. Just like any other dog, they enjoy spending time in nature. They prefer to sunbathe briefly in the morning. They like to relax and look at trees while sassing out birds chirping. Despite my best efforts to convince him to join me in my workouts, he prefers to sleep instead. When it's time for us to play, he will get up, so don't worry. You should also be aware that if your dog shows any signs of heat stroke, you must cool him down as soon as possible. Furthermore, you should never forget that your location needs to be nearby to a 24-hour animal emergency hospital in case you need to transport your dog there for immediate rescue. Obtaining also a health insurance for your dog is an excellent idea, especially if vet fees in your state are exceptionally expensive. The fifth is, dogs must not be kept in cages. As you can see in this video, my dog sees the cage as if it were a prison cell. Seeing and feeling what your dog is feeling gives you a better grasp of how similar we are to animals. We are all aware that dogs are known for offering you unconditional love. You might start to see that people and animals are not all that dissimilar when you try to imagine yourself in their shoes. No dog should be kept in the cage. In the event that you needed to transfer them, if they are being transported from one state to another, it is perfectly acceptable to keep them in the cage. They should be allowed to move around freely, just like humans. If you have a large yard and are concerned that they might get out, it is your duty as the owner to keep your dog away from escaping. If you plan to have a dog, you should treat them as if it were a member of your family, and families do not sleep outside in cages. The sixth is also to allow your dogs to sleep indoors. There are many good reasons why you should never let your pets sleep outside. Dogs are like your children. Even if they are adults, you should never leave them unattended. Poisonous snakes, spiders, 
toads, and other tragic occurrences occasionally threaten the safety of your dog. Also, floods, hailstorms, and other unforeseen events can all result in the untimely demise of your dog. Never let your negligence or lack of responsibility lead your dog to suffer because you were complacent in a scenario when your beloved's dog future could be at stake. Seventh is reward your dogs with treats. You must occasionally reward them since they are like your kids. You might give it as a reward for good behavior or during a training session. You must really care for your dog's health, especially if it is a French Bulldog, as they are prone to stomach discomfort. Feed your dog just dog biscuits, vegetables, and fruits that are only allowed. Never give them processed foods or other prohibited foods and drinks, especially sweets and salty snacks. 8. Is feed your dogs on time. Never let your pets go without food during the day. Never let them go hungry. Never allow them to be envious of others while they are eating as this could make them fear that they will run out of food. This could also play a role in and shape their depression. So remember the golden rule. Do not treat others how you would like them to treat you. Remember, if you let your dog suffer, the universe always finds a way to bring your bad karma back to you. Ninth is spend time and love on your dogs. Never neglect your dog or inflict them physical or emotional harm. There are numerous ways to show your love for them. You can always have fun playing with them or you can also speak with them despite their lack of understanding. So the last one is, French Bulldogs dislike being left alone. Because this breed of dog was developed to be a human companion, they should not be left alone at home for extended periods of time. I've been lucky to be able to work from home since I brought my Frenchie home. My Frenchies normally love spending time with me. I take him on his buggies wherever I go and he enjoys it even if it exhausts him. So. I hope you liked this video and gives you a little bit of information about Frenchies. See you again in my next video.